I'm making this quick little video just to show you a couple of upgrades that I've done that uh, make life a little easier with the ER50. The first thing I've done is uh, have much larger bubblers. The reason being, and and when and I have two of them, of course, at the moment I'm just showing the one. But uh, the reason being is I like to drink the Browns gas bubbled water, and as I'm breathing the gas, I can be bubbling the water, and then I use these bubbled water as my drinking water. So I found that the smaller bubblers weren't giving me enough water, so I went to larger bottles, and actually it gives a larger base on it and, and more secure and everything as well, so it works great. The second thing I've done, as you can see, is I've put a tube, <coughs> in this case a copper tube, but iron steel would work just as well, on my... Um, uh, foam vacuum system so I put the hose into the vacuum and I can control how much vacuum is, it is by how far I put the hose in there and, or how tightly I hold my hand over it and I can vacuum the foam so this particular electrolyzer has gotten a foaming problem in it again which seems to come in with any kind of oil and, instant, and it seems like uh, quite a bit of water has oil in it or some sort of impurity even distilled water, when I put it in, can cause foaming. So, here we go. We'll start the electrolyzer, and as you can see, hopefully, the foam level is starting to rise. Actually, there's so much foam down here in the in the tubes that it's actually pushing water up the uh, tower, and then the foam is rising on top of that. So, we'll let the foam rise up a little ways, and then we'll turn on the vacuum and do some defoaming. The nice thing about this tube is that then, it, unlike the plastic hose, it doesn't curl. You can get right down and take the foam right down to the liquid level easily. So I just wanted to show how the foam is getting collected in the jar. And I'll just give it a pause here while we build up some more foam. It does seem that the impurities are the thing that foams the most. So as you suck out the foam, you are also sucking out the impurities. It's kind of nice that way. You just continue doing that until the uh, foam is gone or at least under control so I've done a third thing uh, but first I'll recap a little bit uh, the people that have seen my previous videos can know about this vacuum uh, system here where you bring a hose in from the side of the bottle and what that does is it creates like a vortex inside the bottle and then you take this top hose that goes to the vacuum cleaner just bring it through the lid like that 
so that's what sucks the air out of the bottle and when the there's a vacuum in the bottle then the uh, lye gets sucked up this hose and then spins around in the bottle and drops to the bottom and the uh, just the straight air goes out the top so you never get any lye into your vacuum cleaner. Just a quick recap of that little vacuum apparatus which seems to be working very very well. Now the third thing I did in the electrolyzer is I took the original uh, cap that I had off here and I made an extended cap to make it higher as you can see here. So this also helps the defoaming or rather the, keep the foaming foam out of your water. Uh, the foam in the water would put lye in the water. You don't want that. You just want pure gas to be going out. So what I've done is extend the tower like this. Just a uh, little cap down here that fits on, an extended tube. I like to use clear plastic tube because then I can see what's going on in there. And then uh, cap and tap, drill and tap and put a fitting on. Very simple, taller tower. So when the foam, if there is foam building up down here, it doesn't come out with the hose as easily. So you don't have to worry too much about the foaming problem, even if you do have a foaming uh, issue. And so just thought I'd bring that little extra thing up. It all seems to be working very, very well.